there's certainly going to be a lot of attention on Gauteng. That's because the province's more than 15 million residents will have a new premier by the end of the day, and that's if everything goes according to plan. It follows, of course, the resignation of David Makura, who's been at the harm since 2014. Bangas Lusufi is expected to be elected to that post to replace Makura at a special sitting of the provincial legislature later today. It's also where we find our reporter, Govan Whittles, who joins us now ahead of that sitting live. And Govan, of course, um, Bangas Lusufi yesterday has moved to assure people that this is going to be some kind of smooth transition. One of the big questions is around how much buy-in he has considering the task ahead. Well, he certainly does have buy-in from his party, and we're expecting Panyaza Lesufi to continue with the Gauteng ANC's plan for the province. What's been interesting about Panyaza Lesufi's ascension to the position of Premier, it's not just finalized yet, but we do expect it to go well. The ANC holding a slight majority in this provincial legislature, where we're crossing from at the moment. But it has been his cooperation with other parties in the metro councils, and Banyaza Lasufi was instrumental in um, organizing the takeover by the ANC um, of the Johannesburg City Council through that coalition, the new coalition, uh, which is now in place. Um, and for all intents and purposes, it does look like he's built a strong relationship with some of the other parties that the ANC sees itself working with in Gauteng, not only in the metros, but perhaps beyond 2024, if those predictions um, of the ANC's performance in the province uh, come true. But Banyaz Lasufi coming into the position as Premier, uh, saying that he intends to continue rolling out the ANC's objectives, but there are a few things that we'll have to look out for. There's been some talk about his plan to possibly reshuffle as soon as he gets it's into office. Of course, he'll have to consult with the alliance partners first. Um, but we'll have to look out to, for what he says about ETOLs. Uh, that was one issue that David Makura picked up from his uh, inception as Premier in 2014 and ran through with it without, of course, getting the result that uh, residents of Gauteng uh, wanted, he, according to uh, the ANC in the province. Um, but then, of course, Panyaza Lasufi leaving behind a massive legacy in education in Gauteng, and exactly who will he'll appoint to that portfolio has been a matter of interest. And then what kind of premier he'll be for the people of Gauteng is yet to be determined, but we have some insights. Panyaza Lasufi has butted heads before with organizations such as Afri Forum. His his uh, ascension to the position of Premier uh, in today's sitting has been described by Action SA, which is a new opposition party, uh, as something that they don't believe will bring any difference in the province. We know that, of course, he doesn't have many friends in the opposition when it comes to the Democratic Alliance and uh, the ACDP and a few other parties, but he does, of course, have allies that he's built up over the years, and we're expecting him to continue uh, with some of those programs. We'll be here in the morning. We'll try to bring you some analysis of Banyaza Lasufi's legacy in education and also his views towards the province, uh, the things that he believes should be take uh, center stage as he takes up the mantle of Gauteng Premier. Um, but, of course, we'll be speaking to the ANC as well. Hope to bring you some insights from people who've uh, dealt with different sectors in Gauteng um, across the province and what they expect from the new Premier and the new administration. He's coming into the role after David Makura, the outgoing Premier, said that he doesn't want to deliver the State of the Province Address in 2023. And in order for a smooth transition to happen, something that was commended by the President, David Makura is stepping down now so that Panyaza Lesufi can get to grips with the office and essentially do some groundwork before preparing the speech and outlining uh, the, the entire vision in that 2023 State of the Province Address. That's the reason why David Makura has left so early. And we know, of course, David Makura said it was his decision to leave the position. And he's being touted for the position of Secretary General within the ANC, possibly a ministerial position, although the nominations from the party's branches um, across the country haven't lent him much favor for that nomination. So we'll be here throughout the morning bringing you the latest as it happens. But for now, it's back to you. Yeah, a great uh, roundup of the context under which this sitting is taking place. Govan Whittles, thanks very much indeed. He's live to us there from just outside the Gauteng Legislature in Johannesburg.